Let's start with our discover. 1A. Five balls fit into each box. How many boxes are needed for 10 balls? And 1B asks how many boxes are needed for 15 balls? Hmm, now you might need your counters for this. Or, if you're good at counting in your fives, that will definitely help you too. Have a think and then we'll share our ideas together. To solve 1A, I had my 10 counters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 and 5 make 10. And I put them in rows of 5 because it says that 5 fitted in a box. So I've got 5 in a box and 5 in a box. How many boxes are needed? I need one box and two boxes. It's really asking you how many groups of 5 fit into 10. So the answer is two. Now it suggests on the share page that you might use a number line. So you know if you have got 10 balls, how many times do you have to take away five until you get to zero? So 10 take away five is five. Five take away five is zero. You have done two jumps. So the answer is two boxes. I find that way trickier than counting out my counters and putting it into an array, but you can choose whatever works best for you. Now, if you know your five times tables really well, then you can just use that as well. I can count in my five times table until I get to ten. Five, ten. Oh, I'm already there. So I need one, two, two boxes. Let's try one B. How many boxes are needed for 15 balls? So for 15, I need to add five more balls. One, two, three, four, five. How many groups of five do I have now? I have one, two, three. So three boxes must be needed. Let's try counting on our five times table until we get to 15. Five, 10, 15. Ha ha, how many boxes? One, two, three. Three is your answer. Now you can work it out like I have, or if you would like to, you could have a go at working it out like it suggests in your share box. Using your number line of 15, taking away five each time, and then counting how many jumps you've used. Let's think together. Question one, there are 30 balls. Oof, now, because we're getting into our bigger numbers, it might be the time to use our number line. And it says five balls fit into each box. Now, again, if you know your five times table, you can count in fives until you get to 30. But we should double check on our number line just to make sure. Now, luckily, the number line's already drawn out for us. So let's have a go at working out how many jumps we will need. I have drawn our number line out on my board. So we've got 30 balls and five fit into each box. So we've got five, 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 five. How many jumps have I used? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we know that six boxes are needed. Let's double check. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Got up to 30 balls and there are six boxes that are needed. Let's try question two. So here are my badly drawn tennis bats <laughs> and it says there are 12 bats put into groups of two. So we're going to be on 12 and we're counting backwards in twos. So 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. How many jumps did we do? 1, 
two, three, four, five, six. We did six jumps. Let's double check. We've got one group of two, two groups of two, three groups of two, four groups of two, five groups of two, six groups of two. So there are six groups of two bats. Let's try a two times table till we get to 12. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Wow, we have got six again, so we must have the right answer. Right, time for our challenge. Joe has some counters in a bag. He puts the counters into groups. He uses the number line to help him. So it wants to know how many counters are in the bag. How many counters are in each group? And how many groups are there? Have a little think at home and then we'll work it out together. Here is my number line that Joe has drawn out. So the first question says, how many counters are in the bag? How many counters do you think are in the bag? Yes, I think there are 40 counters. Now the next question asks, how many counters are in each group? So we have to work out how many are in each jump on our number line. So how many is in this jump? Not to 10. Ah, there's 10. 10 to 20, there's 10. 20 to 30, there's 10. 30 to 40, there's 10. So there are 10 counters in each group. And then it wants to know how many groups are there. So we've got to count our jumps. One, two, three, four. There are four four groups. Let's do our 10 times table. Are you ready? 10, 20, 30, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four groups of 10 make 40. Well done if you got this challenge today.